in this video <coughs> we will discuss commutator algebra suppose we have two operators a and b or two operators and their commutate commutator and their commutator is denoted by we have the square bracket and inside this square bracket we have these two operator this is called the commutator of two operator a and b and is defined as like the commutator of two operator a and b is given by we will take the first operator multiply it with the second then we will take a negative sign and take the second operator multiply it with the first this is called commutator of a and b now similarly we have anti commutator operate operation anti commutator of two operator a and b is denoted by this parenthesis a or b sorry and is defined as the anti commutator of two operator a or b is defined as a b and we have a plus sign then b a this is called anti commutator of a and b now two operators a and b are said to be commute we can say that two operator a and b are said to be commute if their commutator is zero that is the commutator of a or b is equal to zero then we say that a and b commute with each other if it's commute with each other the commutator is zero then this commutator is a b minus b a which is equal to zero or from this we can say that a b is equal to b and also any operator operator a suppose we have any operator a it will commute with itself if we take the commutator of a with a we always get zero now there is another property suppose we if two operators are hermitian like the operators are hermitian in their product is hermitian then these two operator
operate or commute with each other. This is a theorem, okay? The theorem is like two operator are Hermitian. Suppose we have two operator A and the other operator is B. They are Hermitian. So by Hermitian we mean that their Hermitian conjugate will give the operator itself. Similarly, A dagger is equal to A and B dagger is equal to B. Because the proper uh, the Hermitian operator are those operator if we take the or uh, a join of this operator and we get the operator again then A is said to be be Hermitian this is given ok we are proving it given that A dagger is equal to A and B dagger is equal to B A and B are two operators and they are also a B whole dagger is equal to A B okay or B A their product A B or B A whole dagger is equal to B A now we will come to the this factor A B product whole dagger which is equal to b dagger a dagger now b dagger is itself b from this one and a dagger is itself a by this one this is equation number one similarly A B whole dagger is equal to A B because the product is itself Hermitian. It's already given in the theorem. This is equation number two. Now comparing one and two, we have both sides are same the left sides are equal so the right hand sides should also be equal the right hand sides of both this is AB is equal to BA or this implies that AB minus BA is equal to 0 or this is equal to the commutator of A or B which is equal to 0 this implies that A and B commute with each other. So we prove the theorem here. Next we will come to the properties of operator. So the theorem is, I will explain it again. The theorem is like if you have two operator, two Hermitian operator, like two operator they are Hermitian and their product is also Hermitian. Like we have two operator A and B, they are Hermitian so A dagger is equal to A and B dagger is equal to B. Also their product AB whole dagger is also Hermitian so we get AB. A B A dagger is equal to B A. Now AB whole dagger is equal to B dagger A dagger uh, which is equal to B dagger is equal to B which is given there and A dagger is equal to A which is also given similarly AB whole dagger is equal to AB which is also given here now comparing equation 1 and 2 the left hand sides are equal so the right hand side should also be equal like AB is equal to BA or uh, AB this implies that B AB minus BA is equal to 0 and this is equal to this symbol and this is the commutator symbol a will be commutator of A or B which is equal to 0 so we can say that A and B commute with each other now the properties of commutator the 
the first property is commutator or anti-symmetric anti-symmetric property like the commutator of A over B is equal to minus commutator of B over A similarly Hermitian conjugate of a commutator the second property conjugate of a commutator if we have two operator a and b and we have the commutator relation and we take the Hermitian conjugate of this commutator then it will be equal to the commutator of B adjoint or A adjoint and the third property is distributive law distributivity we have operator A commutation of operator A with B into C which will be equal to commutator of A over B into C plus commutator of B into A over C we can easily prove it, okay? And I will give this as an assignment. The proof of these properties as an assignment. And the fourth property is Jacobi identity. It tells that commutator of A comma A will be commutator plus commutator of B comma B will C commutator C would C way sorry plus commutator of C comma A will B give us a value equal to zero this is another property and the fifth property is operator or operators always commute with scalar that is if we have an operator which commute with a scalar then the result will be equal to zero so here I have the assignment the first time I have proof that A over B commutator is equal to minus B over A commutator this is first the second proof is And there is another property which is called linearity, linearity, which tells that the commutator of A with B plus C plus D plus so on is equal to the commutator of A over B plus commutator of A over C plus commutator of A over D plus up to so on this is second one the third one is a commutator of a over b whole adjoint is equal to b adjoint commutator of b adjoint and a adjoint this is another assignment and we have this assignment the fourth one is 
A over B C commutator of A and B C is equal to A over B into C plus B A over C and the fifth one is this Jacobi property so these are your assignments